What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, we are doing the 62nd installment of Random Model Airports. Today, we're going to be doing the Tulsa International Airport. Thank you to JXDenFN for suggesting this airport. If you have any new suggestions for new Random Model Airports, please leave them in the comments below. Tulsa International Airport, a very lovely mid-sized airport here in the state of Oklahoma and an airport that has plenty of represent representation here on YouTube as well, but I figured why not do my own representation as well just to kind of see what Tulsa's all about since I have gotten quite familiar with it over the years, but obviously doing it myself will help me get familiar with it even more. So in the event I ever visit that area for any reason, um, that way I know where everything is at. It's a very nice little setup here with the one concourse that's at a like a diagonal angle there over there and then this one's like a straight line so it's a really unique setup for sure and very nice to finally do an airport that as i said has plenty of representation online from a good friend of mine so that out of the way let's go ahead and take a look at some brief history at tulsa and also one new service that's coming up here very soon Airport opened in 1928 and was purchased by the city of Tulsa the very next year and then in the process renamed to the Tulsa Municipal Airport. There was a terminal building that opened on site in 1932 and it was replaced by another facility that opened in 1961, which would be this current facility, but it has been renovated and expanded on several occasions. First airlines to serve here were American and TWA, former of which opened up a maintenance base shortly after World War II concluded, which is still in use today. Um, so if you ever see any like random American Airlines planes at Tulsa, they're there for maintenance and they'll send in like 737s, 777s, 787s, just anything in American's fleet. Uh, typically those Boeing planes will head over to TUL for maintenance and will be seen flying around occasionally. So it would be nice to go there and catch one of those maintenance flights in action since uh, seeing a 777 and 787 at a mid-sized airport is very unusual elsewhere, but for TUL it's pretty much a regular occurrence. Concourse B opened up in 2012. It would be this concourse right over there. And there's been a lot of new services that have come in over the last decade or so. Breeze has come through here once, but they are no longer serving this airport. Um, you have airlines like Allegiant and Southwest that have been expanding operations over those last decade or two. So they've quickly grown to become some dominant airlines within the market. And you know, it's really hard for me to pick which airline would be the biggest just just off the top of my head. It's I think it'd probably be between American and uh, Southwest right now. Uh, American with their bunch of daily flights down to Dallas and then Southwest with a ton of options across the U.S. to places like Denver, Chicago, Dallas Love Field, Houston Hobby. Um, I'm trying to think of other St. Louis is another one in there. Um, I think that's really all the Southwest routes that I can name off the top of my head. Maybe one to Florida, too, but I could be wrong on that. So yeah, this is a very nice setup here for Tulsa, and we're going to start over here at Concourse A. We'll start over there, work our way around, and then come on down over there to Concourse B to wrap it up. Starting off at gate Alpha 4, we have this Delta 717-200. This aircraft arrived in from Atlanta as flight 1186 at 2.51 p.m. at a scheduled 3.12 p.m. arrival. And then our other Delta aircraft is this Delta Connection service. This Ember 175 that came in from Salt Lake City as flight 4006, operated by SkyWest. This arrived in at 5.23 p.m. and have a scheduled 5.35 p.m. arrival. All the flights in this update, with a couple exceptions, are from Monday, August 12th, and they will be noted if they are not from that day. Then skipping over this gate, we head into our American section, which has quite a few planes. There are four in total with a good even with a nice even split between mainline and regional services. Starting off with this regional service, this Ember 175 parked at gate Alpha 10. This came in from Chicago O'Hare as flight 3770, operated by Envoy Air, at 9.34 a.m., delayed from a 9.23 a.m. scheduled arrival, so this aircraft delayed by just 11 minutes. Swing on over to our first mainline aircraft, we have the 737-800 that comes in from DFW as flight 2352. Revenant at 11.12 a.m. had to be scheduled 11.36 a.m. arrival. And then we have another mainline aircraft, this A319 with Sharklets. Love to see... These showing up here at TUL, and there we go, get the focus into, into the perfect position. This also arrived in from DFW as flight 227, arriving in delayed at 10.30 p.m., delayed from a 9.05 p.m. scheduled arrival, so a delay of 85 minutes for this aircraft. And in our last American aircraft, we have a CRJ-900 parked here at gate Alpha 5. This came in from Charlotte as flight 5519, operated by PSA. Arriving in at 1.02 p.m. had a scheduled 1.14 p.m. arrival. 
And then our last aircraft at Concourse A, we do have Allegiant Air with this A319. Service from Destin, Fort Walden Beach as flight 3090. This arrived in at 8.05 p.m. had of a scheduled 8.36 p.m. arrival. That is all the aircraft we have here at Concourse A. Very nice setup with Delta, American, and Allegiant here, all represented. So I'll move on over to Concourse B, where we have predominantly United and Southwest operations. Starting off here, we do have this United Express CRJ200 at Gate Bravo 4, substituted in for a SkyWest house livery CRJ200. Hopefully Gemini Jets gets around to doing that because that's another regional jet that's kind of been missed out. And considering they did do a CRJ700 in the past in the house livery for SkyWest, um, I don't think a CRJ200 is out of the question. This arrived in from Chicago O'Hare as flight 5517, arriving in at 7.15 p.m. delayed from a 6.15 p.m. scheduled arrival, so an exact delay of one hour. And also nice to see these things popping up as well, as Tulsa gets these on a daily basis. Mesa Airlines, CRJ 900s. This came in from Houston, George Bush Intercontinental as flight 6219. This is um, United Airlines, of course, operated by Mesa. This arrived in at 11.29 a.m., delayed from an 11.14 a.m. scheduled arrival, so we are delayed by just 15 minutes. And then our only mainline service that we have here, this A319. United's very inconsistent mainline, so th there would be more, but that's uh, kind of all I have, and all the other gates are taken up, of course. So we just have the A319 here at the gate for this update at Bravo 8. This arrived in from Denver as flight 745 at 8.59 p.m., delayed from an 8.22 p.m. scheduled arrival, so a delay of 27 minutes. And then our last United aircraft, we have a CRJ 550 at Bravo 10. This arrived in from Chicago O'Hare as flight 4507, operated by GoJet. This arrived in at 10.09 p.m., delayed from a 9.59 p.m. scheduled arrival, so delayed by just 10 minutes. And now I move on over to the Southwest section, which only has two planes because that's really all I have for Southwest. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to play around with special effects in this particular update. So we just have two 737-800s here, one of them, of course, being a Max. So we'll go ahead and start off here at Bravo 5 with the 738. This arrived in from Denver as flight 4266, and I pulled this flight from the prior Saturday. This arrived in at 7.22 p.m., delayed from a 6.50 p.m. scheduled arrival. So this aircraft delayed by 32 minutes. And then moving on up to the MAX 8. This 737 MAX 8 came in from Denver as well as flight 156. This is a the noon flight. This arrived in at 12.22 p.m., so this aircraft delayed by 22 minutes. And then one departing aircraft here for Southwest. Um, this may be a familiar flight to our keen-eyed viewers here. The 737-700 is going to be heading out to Dallas Love Field as flight 4258. Sorry about the camera there. That departed at 6.32 a.m., delayed from a 6.25 a.m. scheduled departure time, so delayed by just seven minutes. And the departure date is from Tuesday, August 13th. And then, to round things off, we do have... A big jet right here. We got a tri-jet. FedEx MD-11. And most of you may recognize this plane because my friend Connor used to have this, and I'm sure this was used in a good couple of Tulsa airport updates every so often. But now they're getting them pretty much every day, so that's really cool. So nice to finally use one of these planes as I've been looking for one of these for quite some time, and Connor was willing to trade off his for a few other planes of mine, so really nice that we got to do that, and I'm very happy to have a FedEx MD-11, so now I'll have to hunt down a UPS one. But this FedEx MD-11 arrived in from Memphis as flight 1466. This flight is from Wednesday, August 14th, arriving in at 5.26 a.m., delayed from a 5.10 a.m. scheduled arrival, so just delayed by 16 minutes. And that'll do it for Tulsa International Airport, number 62 in the Random Model Airport series. And this is an airport that Connor said that I could definitely do at any time. He's, he said he, I was more than welcome to do it. I wish I could have him in this update, but he uh, was not able to come on to this update at this time since he is currently traveling as I'm filming this video. Um, go check out his Instagram if you want to see where he's going. But sounds like he's having a lot of fun, so really happy for him and how many travels he gets to do. So a lot of videos coming from him on all those travels over the course of the next little while. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.